from it. Both for our class pet. We are getting a class pet. We can get a good fish or a hermit crab. How can we choose? We will take a vote. Which pet should we choose? First, we read books about goldfish. We read about hermit crabs too. We talk about what we like and do not like about each pet. That helps us choose each which pet we want. We make a chart about goldfish and hermit crabs before we vote. Time to choose. Now we are ready to vote. Everyone gets a bullet. A bullet shows your choices when you vote. We each color our choices on the bullet. Which pet would you choose? Next, we fold our bullets. Then we put them in a bullet box. Our teacher says we do not have to count anyone at how we vote. We take turns putting our bullets in the box. Which pet wins? Finally, our teacher comes to vote. She makes a tally to keep count. The pet with most votes will win. Which pet? Do you think will be the winner? It's time to count the votes. The goldfish wins. More kids vote for the goldfish. Some of us vote for the hermit crab. That's okay. We will get to vote again. Soon we will vote for a name for the goldfish. Let's keep voting. Voting is a fair way for a group to make a choice. You can even vote with your friends. Which team would you vote for, kickball or jump rope? Who wants to play kickball? Abby says, who wants to play jump rope? Adults vote too. In the United States, adults vote to choose our leaders. When you grow up, you can vote to elect or choose our leaders. And to them, you can vote for kickball. My mom votes. Adults vote for our leaders. My mom let me go with her when she votes. We vote at the polling place. A polling place can be a school, library, or other place in your neighborhood. We wait in line for our turn. Mom goes in to the polling booth. She says she pulls the lever to vote. She chooses the people she thinks will do the best job. I know who my mom votes for, but I won't tell her. Her vote is a secret.